Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I want to talk to you about some different four out basketball plays that you can run with your team to help teach your team how to move without the basketball. Now basketball plays are not only just to win games and to have a set offense, but also to teach your players how to run in game. At least that's how I look at it, at it especially at a younger age group. So. Right now, some 4 out basketball plays that I know you're going to love. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. Okay, so first, player one, he is starting with the basketball. Going from there, what we're going to be having is player three. He is going to be setting a screen over for player two. And at the same time, we're going to be having player five setting a back screen for player four. What's going to happen here is player four, 2 is going to be using that screen and he's going to be cutting towards the rim and you could pass him the ball for a layup. While that's happening, if let's say player 2 is not open, player 4 is going to be using that screen from player 5. This could be a layup right here. Or he could then set use player 2 as a screen. Player 4 is going to be popping out. Player 1 is going to be using player 3 as a screen. And now we have two different options for three-point shots. We have player one who could take a three-point shot after using three as a screen, or player one could pass to player four for a three-point shot as well. Now that first play is really good to run. However, the second play is even better. So this is gonna get you a ton of different low post basketball scoring options that I know you're going to absolutely love. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check this out. So first, we're going to be having player 5. He's going to be screening away and setting a back screen on player 4. Player 4 is either going to cut down the middle or along the baseline, one or the other. He's going to come across. If he's open, definitely hit him up for a layup. If he is not open, let's say player 4's man got through. Player 5 is going to be clearing out, and we're going to be having player 4 set a back screen for player 2. Player 2 is going to use that screen. Now, personally, after this second screen, whether or not we have player two open for a layup, I wanna see player three setting a screen for player one. Now, player one, he may have that option for a three-point shot. However, coming out of that screen, what's going to happen is player three is going to then roll towards the basket after that screen, and now he may be open for a layup as well. Now, these are both really great basketball plays that you can run, but what happens if you're going up against a 2-3 zone or even a 3-2 zone? Well, let's check this out and check out these amazing basketball plays. So here we have a 2-3 zone defense. What we're going to be having here is obviously player 1 starting with the ball, player 3 should not have had the ball. However, we're going to be having... Player 5, he is going to be setting a screen on player 3, and player 3 is going to be using that screen, and he's going to be cutting across the high post. Player 1 is going to pass player 3 the ball. This is going to bring player 5 up to defend player 3. If player 5 sags down, player 3 is going to have an open shot. However, what we want is for player 5 to come up to contest that shot because player 5 is going to roll off that screen and now you can have a high to low post pass for player 5 to score really easily in that low post for an easy, easy layup. So there's a play against a 2-3 zone. Let's check out a play against a 3-2 zone that I know you are going to love. Okay, so we're against a 3-2 zone defense. Most likely what you're going to be seeing here is player 1 being on. Technically, this could be a double team because that overlaps their two sections. However, most likely you're going to be seeing player 3 take a, uh, a stance where he's going to be defending the pass. Player 2 is going to be doing the same. Player 4 is going to be protecting the far lob pass. And obviously, we have 5-on-5 five five down in the low post. What we're going to be doing here, however, is player 3 is going to be setting a screen up for player 3. Player 1 is going to use that screen, and he's going to be going down towards this low corner. We're going to be having player 3 wanting to fight through, and we're going to be having player 3 now in the high post. That's going to bring player 1 red down, and what I want to see happen 
is player three to take one dribble towards the middle of the key. The reason why this is a very important part of this offense is because now you can collapse the defense where if player four comes forward, we could have player four cut back door and that could be a layup. Or if player five was to step up and player four was to stay sagging off, we would now have player five a bounce pass in for a layup. Now these are all really great basketball plays that you can run with your basketball team that teaches your players that if they don't have the basketball, they can still move around, set screens and create opportunities for other players on the court. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.